Hello everybody, this is Stonewall, and it's that time again. I'm getting a, another class diamond. So, I believe I've made videos, or at least shown, where I got the Titan and the Hades both gold. And I've been grinding out the VKM lately. So, yesterday I had some really good matches. Uh, one of them I wound up with 10 headshots, and another one I wound up with 9. Some really nice stuff to finish off the headshot grind, and then did all of the rest of this in one sitting. I actually had all of my revenge medals, my double kills, and my bloodthirsties by the time I finished up the no attachment kills. Um, I've definitely got a feel for this gun at this point, and do pretty solid with it pretty regularly. So, I just need another 13 kills with all these attachments, and I'll give me gold and diamond for the LMGs. And that's going to look really nice to have. Alright, so let's just jump into some TDM and give it a go. So the VKM took a little bit to get used to because of the slow fire rate. And I think that was probably the biggest thing I had to get used to. And the difference between the actual recoil and the view kick. Because sometimes the view kick, what it looks like the recoil is, is worse than the actual recoil. So it's a little bit goofy there. But it's actually not a bad one getting the headshot grind done. Because headshots actually make a difference in time to kill with this gun. Uh, a lot of the others, they don't really matter that much. Wasted her. I'll try not to camp too much. Oh, I... Is that a spawn flip? Yeah, it was. Okay. We have the advantage. That's what tends to get me on some of these maps, or well, in this game more than others, is spawn flips. I know they're right there. I'm going in. Just about flashed myself. Ah, oh, that was rough. We pulled ahead. Hostile UAV circling. We lost the lead. They don't target. There we go. Be advised, hostile attack deploy beacon active. We have the advantage. This is not really the best gun to go, you know, pushing in deep with. Just because of, you know, reaction time and that sort of thing with it. Handling is pretty slow. Ooh, that's close. Night, night. Oh, they got me. Flip. Throwing nine back. Yes. Yeah. Sure what he was waiting on. Hostile attack deploy beacon active. Heal up. There's another one on the other side of that train car. Cluster nade. Now, uh, because I'm running all the attachments, I don't have uh, stem shot or, well, any equipment on. Hmm. Now, one of the other things I may do a video about in the future is the difference in performance for the same ammunition type. And this does kind of go back to blackout. Well, the ammunition types in Blackout. And that's because the VKM and the Paladin supposedly use the same ammunition. And without high caliber, it takes more than two shots to the head with the VKM to get a kill in multiplayer. So it's kind of... Okay, that was on the other side of the train, but anyways. Blast radius on those things are nasty. 
I don't know, it's just one of those things that bugs me. Because it's the same ammunition, you're not looking at a really big difference in barrel length. Oh, the oh, there it is! Diamond. Ballistic shield pushing through. Ran out of ammo and actually got a melee kill. All right, there we go. Twenty-one and ten. Got the camos. Yep. <laughs> Almost got a quad feed with this. I know I had three in a row in the kill feed. What just happened? That was strange. <laughs> 48 there's purple hex gold and diamond for the LMGs so that's another uh, 12,500 XP all right so as you can see it's a pretty decent LMG it takes a little bit of getting used to like I said because of the fire rate can't tell you how many times whenever I was first running it that I would miss or somebody would be strafing back and forth and I would shoot on both sides of them and miss them completely. Um, but I, I was running rapid fire on that one just because I've got all the attachments unlocked. I actually didn't use rapid fire whenever I was getting the headshots. But the biggest thing with getting the headshots with this one is because they actually make a difference. So... If I remember correctly, on the other LMGs, headshots don't matter in time to kill. The VKM is the only LMG that headshots matter for. And that kind of bugs me a little bit with this game. It's, it's kind of a small complaint, and it's mainly for doing these challenges. Is you're going to have us do 100 headshots, but headshots won't make a difference in time to kill. So the VKM in that regard is pretty decent because again the headshots make a difference in time to kill and the headshots have been the biggest part of the challenge for me for any of the camos the rest of these have been pretty easy outside of bloodthirsties for the snipers and long shots for either the snipers or the assault rifles um, those are generally the ones I have left especially bloodthirsties for the sniper rifles because I'm not that great at going on streaks so there we go that's gold, which actually looks pretty decent. And then diamond. It's kind of interesting. They go to a more pale gold color with the diamond camo. It's pretty good. And then let's go over here to our reactive camo since I've got those unlocked. So there. Nice. Now this one you can kind of see the dragon a little bit. I think that's, I've probably brought that up every time we've looked at that camo, so I won't bring it up again. Well, I probably will in the future, but. <laughs> Interesting. Because this one changes the color of the uh, muzzle brake as well. Or flash hider, whichever device that's intended to be all right so there we go so doing a quick overview here that is all the assault rifles and all of the lmgs gold next up will probably be well i've been working on a lot of the smgs and as i unlock them so a lot of them are just over halfway or some of them are closer to, you know, the 75 mark. I think the Cordite is getting really close to getting that completed. And I've been playing with it because 
it's the one that I've got unlocked for the least amount of time. Uh, so whenever I prestige, I've got to get all the way up to level 40 to unlock it again. So we'll see if I complete that this prestige or not. Uh, tactical rifles, I've got the auger done, but not really mess with the ABR and swordfish that much. Again, swordfish is unlocked at 55, so that might be a little while. And uh, I'll probably eventually use a uh, permanent unlock on it. Of course, the LMGs are completed, and I've got half of the sniper rifles done. The Paladin and the Outlaw are done. So the SDM actually requires headshots, and the Koshka is one-shot kills. Because, as far as I know, the SDM will not one-shot to, even to the head unless you're running high caliber. I could be wrong on that, but as little as I've used it, I think that is the case. Uh, for secondaries, again, I've got the Strife. Been working on the Garrison Mozu a little bit. I've got the Mog 12 done. Not really mess with the SG-12 a whole lot. I probably should. And then Launcher's complete, and Combat Knife is a little bit of the way there. So, anyways, thought I'd share that with you. Uh, if there's a particular class you want me to try, or another set of weapons that you want me to focus on next just let me know I've been working on you know as many of these uh, challenges as I can I guess you saw I got the mantis in there I need one more kill with it um, I probably should have taken control of it or actually no I'm getting confused I played a warm-up round and earned a mantis um, that was on slums but anyways, I need one more kill with the Mantis, and I'll have that calling card. I've been cycling through the score streaks. I actually completed the entire support section here, which was a pretty nice chunk of XP, because I did that while we had double XP going, and that was something like 30,000 XP whenever I added it all up. Um, so I've done you know, the Sentry Gun, RCXD, uh, kills while controlling the Mantis, which was pretty easy. A uh, heavy cover with the sentry. Um, so the main ones being Mantis, ground kills overall, and strike team kills. The rest of these, a lot of them are objective kills. So I need to run them and play more of the objective modes. Air Assault, I've got a lot of them. Airborne overall, Hellstorm, Lightning Strike, Dart, Sniper Nest, Attack Chopper. So I need uh, Gunship, Thresher, Drone Squad. Uh, the rest are, of course, objective kills. So I've been working towards some of that. And if you look at this one, I've got all the kills except the Sniper Rifle and Shotgun Kills. Those are the classes I've played the least which is a little bit weird for me because most of the time I focus on the shotguns and I really enjoy playing them, uh, at least in previous Call of Duty games, whenever you could actually consistently get one-shot kills with them. But <laughs> anyways, so if there's anything you want to see me do, let me know. All right. But anyways, this is Stonewall signing off, and I'll see you in another video.